What is up everyone, I'm back here with another video and this time it's very informative. The first bit I'm going to talk about is my back workouts. I always try and do 5 or 6 exercises every time I go to gym regarding my back. I do my back on my own and the first exercise I always start with is the deadlift. Now I'm not great at the deadlifts, I've only started doing the Olympic bar deadlifts. Here I'm actually using the liquid chalk form which my protein have taken out, it's actually very good for uh, doing deadlifts and even pull ups and doing your back exercises. Okay, so couple of different tips here always keep the hamstring tension locked on always try and stretch the hamstrings and keep the bar to as close to the body as possible i like to wear a belt for my lower back to keep me nice and strong my core i went for four or five working sets here 80 kg focusing on keeping the bar up and down my quads keeping the chest forward my arse sticking back out and keep my head neutral i also took off the shoes here to help me focus on balance <clears throat> so that was the first couple of sets I'd done regarding the deadlift always trying to keep the tension and the stretch on my hamstrings if you can keep the stretch in your hamstrings for longer that will work better in your favor you see a lot of people using the hex bar i did use the hex bar at the start but i think i need to focus on my form and really really push out the working sets regarding the olympic bar and um, you see me here struggling for the last couple of reps i am not the greatest on these deadlifts like i said so i really focused on powering through the hamstrings and the lower back to get the reps up uh, this video is actually speeded up also in case you're thinking I'm doing the reps very fast. Next thing I moved on to was pull-ups. I always try and keep the tension on my back, on my lats. I went for five working sets of eight reps, trying to get my chin up to the bar as one working rep. Um, you probably see in this little clip here, I'm trying to get my chest towards the bar. It will also help you power through if you can do five working sets of eight reps then that means you probably would be able to do weighted uh, pull-ups next thing went on for was the one arm dumbbell one arm dumbbell row and um, focusing here on powering through the elbows always try and keep the elbows as tight as you can to the side of your body always try and keep a 90 degree angle between your hips and your back and focus on a neutral uh, point of view don't be looking up don't look them down follow your your elbow as it comes up towards the ceiling as you're here as you can see on this better angle i'm driving through the elbow at all times I went for four working sets here. I went for eight to 12 reps on each arm. As, as time went on, I could really feel it in the lats and even the rear delts as well. I was activating some other muscles. Really, really enjoyed this um, exercise because you can be surprised how heavy you can actually move the weight. Now, I went on to some supersetting with lap pull down and seat row. Lap pull down was a little bit lighter than usual, focusing on form. My, backs were, my back was actually really, really um, sore at this point of, point of time. I was doing a lot of, a lot of movements and a lot of, so, a lot of exercises. So, final sets here, three sets each and eight to 12 reps. Hope you enjoyed this little workout, this little short voiceover, and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm out of here. What is up, everyone? Hope you've enjoyed that little back workout. I've done it just on a voiceover. I kept it very simple, done five exercises, like I said. So, now I really want to talk about an informative video which is basically alcohol the short term and long term effects on your body regarding alcohol and what i do to prevent those effects from taking place on my body the day of drinking and even the day after drinking too much on a single occasion or over time can take a serious toll on your health and this is how alcohol can affect your body you're going to talk about a different uh, part of your body that really takes an effect on the first one is br your brain uh, alcohol can interfere with the brain's communication pathways it can affect the way the brain looks and works these disruptions can change mood and behavior and make it harder to think clearly with moving along with coordination now drinking with your heart is a little bit different drinking over a long time or even too much on a single occasion can damage the heart causing problems that can include high blood pressure stroke irregular heartbeat stretching and dropping of the heart muscle the next body part i want to talk about in your body is liver the heavy drinking can take a toll on the liver and can also lead to a variety of problems including alcoholic hepatitis for fibrosis and also another disease called fatty liver where the fat in the liver can be built up 
The pancreas also takes a, a big hit there, which is also when the alcohol causes the pancreas to produce toxic substances that can eventually lead to pancreatitis, a dangerous inflammation and swelling of the blood vessels in the pancreas that prevents proper digestion. And we all know how important digestion is to our body, our body regarding nutrition. Drinking too much can also affect your immune system, making your body a much easier target for disease. Chronic drinkers are more liable to contract diseases like Hunomia. Am I saying right? Drinking a lot on a single occasion also shows your body's ability to ward off infections even up to 24 hours after getting drunk. Now, there are all the effects, that's all the stuff that's going to scare the shit out of you and if you do drink too much, there are all the problems that you're going to face in your life. Now, as we all know, I like a drink, I always have liked a drink, but over the last year or so, I've learned how to deal with drinking and also working out and keeping in good shape. Next thing you need to understand, what actually is a hangover and how do you cure a hangover? We all know there's no study to show that there is an exact cure of a hangover. The best way I can describe hangovers is dehydration. A hangover is a collection of signs and symptoms linked to a recent bout of heavy drinking. The sufferer typically has a headache, feels sick, dizzy, sleepy, confused and thirsty. Hangovers can occur at any time of the day but are usually more common the next morning straight after a heavy drinking session. Even maybe two days of heavy drinking session. <laughs> As well as physical th symptoms, the person may also experience elevated levels of anxiety, regret, shame, embarrassment, and also depression. The, sev sev the seriousness of a hangover is closely linked to how much alcohol was consumed and whether the sufferer has had enough sleep. Sleep is also very important to cure a hangover because it can have a toll on your body if you haven't got enough sleep. The less sleep, the worse the hangover. That's why all them nights after a house party, you get a couple hours sleep and you are absolutely dying. So I have four tips for you whenever you are dying of a hangover. Take these down, write these down in your notes or put them in your brain. They will help the next Sunday morning you wake up. So the first thing is drink water. Sip water throughout the day and water is the best fluid. Next thing is regarding your eating. Some people go for, well, you should go for bland foods such as crackers, bread, which will raise your blood sugar and it's very easy on the stomach. Fructose containing foods may help metabolize uh, and break down and get rid of the alcohol more rapidly. So also stick to them types of foods. Uh, some people like to take painkillers. Um, I was never a fan of painkillers, but be aware that certain painkillers are actually attack the liver, while aspirin may not be ideal for a very delicate stomach. So I usually stay away from painkillers, but sometimes they help with headaches. If you're not sure what to choose, ask a qualified doctor, and they will be able to let you know, or even a pharmacist, okay? So in the next four tip is rest. If you can manage to get back to sleep, you probably recover a little bit faster. Make sure you have water next to you at your bed because we all know we wake up that next morning and our mouth is as dry as a Sahara Desert. So enough of the talking about effects. I've scared the shady enough. I've talked about the hangover. Now what do I do? This is purely me and you in front of the camera. So on days of drinking, I do a couple of different things. Number one, Get a cardio session in. I always try and burn at least 300 to 500 calories each day to keep me under calories for that night. A pint of lager, a pint of beer is 215 calories. Now, if you drink eight or nine of them, like I usually like to do whenever I go out, then that's nearly 14, 1500 calories. But at least if I burn 500 calories in a gym session that day, that can really, really help me stay on track in my fat loss, okay? If you are dirty bulking, then you will probably enjoy eating a Domino's the next day, but I would advise against it. Next thing, what I would do regarding nutrition on the day of drinking is to make sure you hit your protein goal. And secondly, try and keep your carbohydrates and your fats to an absolute minimum, even zero grams, 
per each macronutrient. So I try to hit my protein goal. I always keep my, mac my macronutrients of carbohydrates and fats to an all-time low. That will help me for the greasy feed that I usually like to get after a couple of pints or even a heavy night's drinking. That will keep me back in shape. So the next thing I always do is whenever I'm going out drinking, I will keep to the spirits. They are probably the least amount of calories per drink. Pints, I said, is 215 calories. I'm not too sure exactly what the spirit level of calories is, but it's a lot lower than that. I would also go for perhaps a can of Monster if I'm pre-drinking, and if I'm in the disco or the nightclub or the pub, I will go for a Diet 7-Up or a Diet Soda, Diet Coke. You get the drill to minimize the calories that I'm going to be having that night. Next morning, water, water, water. Dehydration is basically what a hangover is. Fill up the water, get as much sleep as you. Try not to go on the rip the next day. It's tough, I know, I've been there, but you will benefit it the most if you don't drink the next day, obviously. So that's my tips for drinking alcohol. That's the short-term, long-term effects of alcohol and what I do to try and keep myself in as best nick as possible. If you're wondering how often do I drink, I w drink once every six weeks, but when I drink, I go hard. So I'm actually terrified of drink for maybe two months after that. So hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit informative. Not even sure if people will enjoy it. Please hit the like button if you've actually have enjoyed it because it means a lot to me and I get a fair idea who is keeping with me. And if you don't agree with them, they say, write in the comment box and hit the dislike button also. So, right see you out of here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to keep posting these as much as I can and answer, sorry, ask me any questions on Snapchat and I'll put on a YouTube video. Right see you out of here. Cheers.